Hey everyone, welcome to the Game Fanatics Weekly News. I'm Mona, your host, and E3 is right around the corner, literally right around the corner. And I'm so hyped to be there. I'm going to be going. The Game Fanatics is going to be going too. So, you know, if you're going to be there, come and say hi, say hello, what's up, introduce yourself. We can take pictures, selfies. I'll bring a selfie stick if you'd like. My mom has three, so I'm going to bring three. Anything that you guys want to do, want to say to us, come to us, say hello. We'll come and say hi. So we will see you at E3. This video is mostly going to be about what we're going to be predicting for E3 and yeah, just predictions, really. Like, a little mini video of predictions. Now, let us start off with Microsoft. Everyone's going to be really interested in what, what Microsoft has lined up. Microsoft has been very mum about what they're releasing, even though they kind of leaked some information, like the wireless controller, the 3.5 millimeter, I believe, headphone jack. And that one has leaked. The one terabyte, one, one terabyte Xbox One that has leaked. Um, they have been very mum about it, but they're leaking stuff. So if they want to do a great surprise, they should have kept it on lockdown. They shouldn't have leaked all this information because now we're like, okay, cool. So we can expect a controller. We can expect a one terabyte hard drive and what else? What we'll be expecting is going to be the lineup for the holidays. We're going to be seeing games that Microsoft has been trying to keep on, uh, Microsoft has been working on. Forza, Fable Legends, Halo 5 Guardians, Tomb Raider. I'm so pumped about Tomb Raider. I think everybody's pumped about Tomb Raider. And those are the games that they're going to be talking about. We will see, they've made Tomb Raider an exclusive for Xbox One. I don't know how that went down, but they got it, they locked it. It's gonna be a year for Microsoft to be able to present their products and to make Xbox, you know, a great competitor for Sony, because Sony has been dominating the market. I've been getting in fights with people on Twitter. They've been saying PlayStation has been dominating, and it has been dominating, it's been solid. The lineup has been solid. There has been a lot of PS4 exclusives. I'm thinking the only exclusive Microsoft might have had, correct me if I'm wrong, but they did have Sunset Overdrive. I bought that game, played 10 minutes of it, and I kind of put it back on the shelf. Like, I was just stuck with all the stuff that was coming out for uh, Sony, you know, The Order kind of slashed it for me. The Witcher, literally, just Sony has been dominating in that. So Microsoft is going to be coming out strong, big guns, I believe, big guns. So hopefully <laughs> Microsoft comes out playing and we will see what they will be doing. Sony actually has had a huge solid run since the release for their PlayStation 4, since Next Gen started. They've been very solid and um, their PS4 exclusive has been great. What we're really expecting from Sony is the Uncharted 4. Everyone's just very pumped about Uncharted 4. Everybody wants to know what's happening. Everybody has been crying since they kind of delayed it for spring 2016 and that just makes me so sad. Now, since Microsoft has kind of sort of confirmed that there's going to be a one terabyte Xbox, Sony has filed with the FCC to create a one terabyte PlayStation 4. That one is going to be something I believe both consoles are going to be competing for, and I'm pretty sure they're going to both drop a one terabyte system. The only difference I feel like PlayStation might be doing with their uh, PlayStation 4 is that the PS4 one terabyte might be slimmer. There's been rumors that it's going to be slimmer than the original PlayStation, and I'm thinking if PlayStation's, uh, the PlayStation already is slim, so I, in my opinion, it's very slim. So Xbox, well, the Xbox One kind of looks like a DVR, so if they're slimming down, they're slim, they're already slim PS4. If Xbox is not slimming down that DVR, we might have a problem. Now for Nintendo, the Japanese gaming giant has confirmed that there is going to be a Zelda game for the Wii U, but it will not be releasing this year, it'll be releasing next year. And we are kind of sad about that because there won't be any preview for it at E3 this year. But since it's already confirmed it's coming out next year, kind of like Uncharted 4, we just have to weep together and make it strong. Now for Bethesda, it's going to be a huge year for them at E3 2015. They have confirmed Fallout 4 is coming out. Uh, it's not coming out this year, I believe. They have, I think it is coming out this year. <laughs> it's going to be a huge conference. Everyone is so pumped, so excited. Players have waited seven years for a confirmation just for the game or what is going to be happening. So that's going to be a huge one. Everyone's going to be tuning in. I'm going to be tuning in. I have not played any of the Fallout games. Do not kill me. Now for EA, they're going to be talking about or kind of just teasing us. They've been teasing us for Mass Effect 4. And that one has been a huge fan favorite and people have been wondering if it has been confirmed or has not been confirmed so hopefully they kind of confirmed that put that on lockdown mirror's edge 2 i'm so pumped so 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 pumped to play that game and i'm hoping they do talk a little bit more show us some gameplays let us know how it is you know get our hands down and dirty in these two games that have been very mum now for ubisoft they have confirmed the assassin's creed syndicate prior to e3 and i believe they're going to be just focusing on assassin's creed syndicate that's going to be the name that 
um, everybody's gonna be talking about it. it's the main point of the conference so hopefully they have fixed everything from other than the as older Assassin's Creed so I'm excited to see the new gameplay the new setting it's gonna be in London and hopefully it's a solid game and I'm uh, Ubisoft is always solid so just one game shouldn't really hold them back so hoping to see great things and expecting great things from Ubisoft. For Activision they're gonna be actually talking about Call of Duty Black Ops 3 and Black Ops 2 has been a huge fan favorite it has been one of my favorite games that's actually the first game that got me into Call of Duty and they're gonna be talking about it they already confirmed that it's happening in April when they release a teaser or a trailer I'm hoping they do put the exosuits in that game and I know a lot of people don't like the exosuits in Advanced Warfare but really it was a year of flying year of jumping year of exosuits you know you got Titanfall you got Call of Duty you got uh, <laughs> Destiny. Let me know below what you are excited for, what you're expecting at E3, or anything that I did not cover, any rumors or anything that you feel like has not been covered. This should have been covered for this E3 video. This is my first E3, so I might be a little bit rambling. I'll be like, oh my god. Hopefully I'll see you guys there. And thank you guys so much for tuning in. And comment and subscribe and see you guys soon.